Alrighty guys, so the Ferrotech kit deserves a completely new strife. Let's get to work. So this is what my strife looks like fully sanded and prepped. You can see that I have already carved in this window to run the lipo leads through. And then most importantly, I completely sand this down so that I get kind of scales and grip uh, patterns there that I can use for hydro dipping. Uh, it allows you to like really change the overall look of the strife, which is important when everybody and their cousin is making strife modifications these days. So. That's just one of my special tricks. It changes the way that it feels, and it changes the way that you can kind of aesthetically approach the modification as well. Other than that, just a full uh, series of wet sanding, and then of course, we're currently going at it with the latest design of the Duplicolor Black Vinyl Dye, just because it is an awesome base coat and really ensures that our automotive grade enamel will stick where we want it. Okay guys, so the Draculina actually helped me out with this one and it's been fully taped off. If you recognize this taping pattern, that's because it's exactly how we got the super cool handle scales on Sanguine and a lot of people really, really dug it. So I think that this is going to turn out great. Now, all we have to do at present to get this ready for the Ferro kit is lay on some awesome yellow enamel this time and I think that we're going to mix silver metallic flake into that yellow enamel so that we get something truly unique and special going on here and then of course it's off to the hydro dip tank let's do it After a bit of light touch-up work, I'm really, really pleased with how the Apis's hydro dipping turned out. I think that even after correcting a few of the minor flaws, it's going to look great. Now, these are custom vinyl logos, courtesy of my friend Avery of Custom 3D Nerf and the SENC. Let's get these installed, and then let's hit this up with the absolute top-notch 2K lacquer. <laughs>
since Apis has had a full two days for the 2K clear to cure, I think it's time to start adding internals back inside. And that's going to be interesting because of this. This is the Artifact Red Cage. It's from China Land, and it's a little bit like a Snickers cage made from a solid piece of aluminium. Should be fun to see if it actually performs better because it is not canted like the Snickers cage. Let's get to work. So this flywheel combo is awesome, but you guys know well enough by now that we need a special switch to handle the kind of amperages that will be coursing through it to optimize performance. And that switch uh, is over here in the workshop. Um, keep them in this tray here. And here we have it. If you're ever curious about the materials that go into a build like this, I try and link all of the, uh, the materials used in the description box below. So now all we've got to do is carve out this so that this will fit in here optimally. But before that, I like to trim those right there and then bend this over and back so that the roller isn't in the way. guys so this is the finished apis and it's a really weird project for me because i made it kind of for myself normally i only do big things like this for clients but i made this one to my own specifications because i thought that it would be fun as soon as i saw that ferrotech kit i knew that it absolutely had to have like a proper strife to house it like something that really did it justice and so i completely overhauled the insides there's a lipo it's a 2s graphene hidden inside here with a voltage alarm because there is no voltmeter on this blaster and that's important uh, i really just can't tell you enough how much i love adding these scales after sanding off the waffle pattern and adding the hydro dip scale to match the blaster it really gives a not only completely different tactile feel to the strife but it also just looks great so i'm very happy with how this hydro dipping came out i hope that the uh the way that the light reflects off of it, you really have to see it in person because it looks like a beehive. When I put it on green stuff, it looks like dragon scale. When I put it on yellow stuff, it looks like a beehive. And that is why we decided to name it 
Apis, of course. Plus, it's got like a, a kind of funky, fresh Georgia Tech theme, which is my alma mater, and they are the Yellow Jackets. So even though those aren't the same species, I, I think that most people are so confused by it that I, I, I like that symmetry, I guess, or parallelism, however you want to put it. But the Ferrotech kit is awesome. It really puts a lot more weight forward, so I added the Hart Fox Nerf crossbow stock to the back to really give this a full profile as a primary not a secondary and i dig that a whole bunch then i added this this is the night strike viper foregrip that i've made a video about before it's designed for like ar-15s but since the ferrotech kit has picatinny on it it was not only the perfect way to add just a really comfortable foregrip to this but also it uh helps lock the two rails together so that this is now a very solid um connection between these pieces but i also added this this is a really cheap uh holographic red dot sight you can see if i turn it on uh there the that is just what it is it's it's relatively inexpensive it comes from amazon and it's it's nice i mean i don't think that nerf blasters are super duper accurate as far as this goes this is the one mistake in the blasters that this cracked a little bit this is the ferrotech kits uh i guess flash hider or muzzle break up here at the front and i used a worker barrel i absolutely love the spiral clear orange worker barreling material i think it's the best barreling material that they make and it lets you extend this off so that it looks uh like like it wanted to be an sbr but we had to to go with this because we couldn't get a a ticket for it so it's got a full length barrel of sorts but i really love the translucent orange i really love how it fits into the flash hider how the flash hider itself is transparent in places so you get the translucent orange through it i think that that's really really cool and it's just a neat pattern like i hope that worker is still making this and if they are again all of the parts in this blaster build i will link in the description box below so that if you wanted to replicate any facet of it you could but um very comfortable blaster now has really cool optics i love the extended barrel even though it probably is costing me a few fps it's just really cool looking how we've got this floating translucent extension here but performance is great of course it wouldn't be uh complete if we didn't put like a tactical magazine so this is the blaster parts 15 round banana mag and that i think is how it was meant to look all along is with just a ton of black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow um the logos are, of course, from my friend Avery, who's a member of the SENC these days and also runs custom 3D Nerf on eBay. He does awesome vinyl logo work at reasonable prices. I love changing the Nerf logo into the Drac logo. It's a subtle touch, but it's really, really cool. Uh, other than that, all of the insides work beautifully. I love this kit with the, uh, the flywheel cage and the blaster parts.d. The German flywheels are smooth, but have that that convex nature to them and really grip the darts to give you nice relatively consistent groupings and then of course the heart fox nerf stock extends this and puts it right where i want it to be i think maybe i'll add a flashlight here later on down the line but i'm very happy with how this blaster turned out i absolutely adore this hydro dipping film i think that the hexagons are great i actually need to order more of it and then the combination of just all these different in Faro and heart fox uh just phenomenal 3d printing wizards making these awesome things to to add on i think that this whole thing ties together very very organically and looks really really cool what do you guys think i don't i don't do full builds like this a ton of the time but when i do your approval is absolutely necessary because i sink way way too much time and meraki into these um thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm in love with this blaster let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm working on another uh top-notch blaster that's i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet i might wind up selling it down the line but uh i'm working on something else that's very special at the moment and i can't wait to share that with you guys as well so this is my apis it's a strife that's been overhauled into a fully fledged primary covered in 3d printed goodness and i'll see you guys next time much love nerf on drac out